Higgs Field AI Tutorial and Review. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out Higgs Field AI and I'll be sharing my review. So with that said, let's dive right into it. Now Higgs Field is a really powerful platform that allows you to create high quality content videos. You can even design UGC style content for TikTok, Instagram, or any other social media. It gives you a variety of creative options. You can edit photos, build avatars, and generate all sorts of content. As you can see here, the videos are loading up and you'll notice just how impressive they look. Some of them might feel a bit unusual, but they're still very creative. For example, you'll see effects like atomic bonding, money rain, shadow transitions, zoom outs, and much more. So you can easily build projects similar to what's shown here, with lots of unique filters and multiple AI models to choose from. Now, one important point I want to highlight is the pricing. While it's free to try at a very limited level, the tool itself is quite costly, and the free version doesn't really provide much value. If you're specifically searching for a completely free AI solution, this probably won't meet your expectations. Running AI tools is generally expensive, which is why most platforms don't give away advanced features for free. Personally, I think it would have been better if they offered a more useful free plan or at least a proper trial. That way, users could test things out and make a more confident decision before paying. But sadly, you really don't get much here. For example, at the top, you'll see the Create section where you can choose between images, videos, UGC, and Speak. The Speak option is basically their AI voiceover, videos lets you make short clips, and images allows photo editing. The issue is, you can't really explore most of these features properly. You can technically make a video, but only for about five to eight seconds, and then it pretty much stops working. Signing up itself is simple. You just hit the sign up button, select one of your social accounts, and you're in. Now that I'm logged in, if I head into the Create section and then choose Video, you'll see the limitation. For example, I made a short clip earlier, but as you can see, the resolution is only 512, not even 720p. That's honestly disappointing, especially in 2025, where HD should be the minimum. And the duration? Just six seconds. You can't even stretch it to 10. It just doesn't feel worth it. On top of that, the rendering engine provided isn't impressive either. The so-called 720p option looks rough at best. You do get some transition effects to try out, like explosions or other visual overlays. For example, I selected a building explosion effect, clicked Generate, and let it run. But the outcome wasn't very exciting. Another big downside is the credit system. The free plan barely gives you anything you don't even get the 150 credits they claim. In my case, I could only make one short six second clip before running out completely. After that, it's basically locked unless you buy credit packs. Now, I completely understand that AI tools are expensive to maintain and operate, but at the very least, give users a proper chance to test things out. On Higgs Field, you don't really get that opportunity. Instead of letting me actually experiment with the platform, it mostly shows pre-made demos, which doesn't help much. I want to be able to upload something, test the features, see how the engine performs, and then decide whether it's worth paying for. Right now, the website doesn't allow me to do any of that in the free plan. Similarly, in the Characters section, it advertises that you can design and customize your own unique characters. That sounds like a really cool feature, but when you click into it, you immediately find out it's locked behind the pro plan. So as a free user, you're left with nothing more than waiting around and browsing menus you can't use. And that brings me to the pricing. Let's take a closer look at their plans, because this is where things start to feel way too overpriced for what's being offered. The basic plan is $9 a month. For that, you get 150 credits, which translates into either 600 images, 30 short videos, or five character generations. On top of that, you only get access to two concurrent generations, basic character creation and the standard AI models like Light Standard or Helio 2. The problem is, these aren't the strong AI engines that most people would actually want to use. The ones that produce higher quality results, like VO3, Helio, or Turbo, are reserved for the Pro plan, which costs $30 a month. 
and even at that price point, it doesn't feel justified considering the limited value of the lower tiers. In my opinion, that $9 basic plan shouldn't even exist as a paid tier. At best, it should be converted into a free plan so new users can properly test the platform before committing money. That way, people would get a fair experience instead of feeling locked out immediately. Then at the top end, you've got the ultimate plan, which is $49 per month. This one gives you 1,200 credits, more concurrent generations, full character creation, and access to their so-called soul character feature. There's also a UGC builder included, which sounds promising. It's supposed to let creators design influencer-style content for platforms like TikTok and Instagram. But the frustrating part? At the moment, it isn't even fully functional for free users. It's shown as part of the package, but not accessible unless you're on the higher paid plan. So overall, while the tool has potential, the pricing structure and the lack of a meaningful free plan make it hard to recommend. Unless you're ready to spend at least $30 a month for the pro plan, you won't really get to experience what Higgs Field is capable of. Now, let's talk about pricing again, because this is where it really gets frustrating. The ultimate plan goes all the way up to $50 per month. And honestly, that's just too much. I mean, come on, this is only realistic for people who already have money or creators who are running a full brand and can justify the cost. But if you're just starting out, trying to experiment with AI tools or simply learning how to use them, this platform is definitely not for you. It's way too expensive for beginners. Now, to be fair, Higgs Field does have a lot of features on paper. You'll find templates, image generation, action prompts, and a few customization options. For example, if you're making content like a phone review, you can tell the AI to animate actions such as pointing at the screen, holding a phone, or showcasing a product. There are also audio, text, and background settings you can tweak. It all sounds very promising, but the problem is you don't actually get to use them properly on the free plan. When I tried out the image generator, I immediately hit a wall. The system gave me a star icon saying I had run out of credits before I could even make one proper image. For instance, I tried creating an image of Princess Peach leaving a club using one of their Tumblr style character settings. I clicked generate, but of course it just blocked me. Nothing was created. The same goes for the character builder. In theory, it lets you design your own characters by uploading reference photos, up to 20 at a time, and in some cases even 70. But after uploading my images, I just got hit with an error telling me I needed to upgrade my plan. So once again, the feature is there, but you can't actually use it unless you pay. I even tested the upscale tool, which supposedly lets you enhance video quality. I uploaded a clip, clicked upscale, and nothing happened. It just wouldn't work. So at this point, almost every major feature feels locked behind a paywall. And honestly, that's what bothers me the most. Platforms like this feel more focused on squeezing money out of users than actually letting people try the product. At the very least, give us a chance to properly test the features, see if they deliver, and then let us decide whether or not we want to upgrade. Without that, the whole experience just feels restrictive and disappointing. I don't actually mind paying for a subscription plan if the product is good, but the issue here is that Higgs Field is simply too expensive for what it offers. And the bigger problem is that it doesn't even let me properly test the features before making a purchase. I wasn't able to upscale a video, I couldn't create characters, I couldn't access most of the products or the canvas section, and I couldn't generate images, videos, UGC content, or even try the speak option. Basically, everything worth testing was locked out. So yeah, that's my full review of Higgs Field AI. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you found this breakdown useful. Let me know down in the comments what you think about it. Would you try it, or do you feel the pricing is just too high? And with that, until next time, take care, and goodbye.